Hello everyone there in YouTube. This is Lucas from Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton. Today I successfully managed to fix the pitch control this here on a Sony Direct Drive PST20 turntable. Um, I'd like to thank uh, my friend uh, David Bookhalter from David Bookhalter Professional Corporation here in Edmonton for uh, allowing me to work on his favorite turntable and uh, see if I could bring it back to life for him. Um, that's our motto here at Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton, that we bring it all back to life. I sometimes fail. That's not always true. Um, but I, I, I thank David for giving me the chance to work on this turntable and I'll uh, be proud to give it back to him tomorrow in working condition. Actually, I'm a little bit upset I had to have to give it back. It's a really nice turntable. Um, so anyways, the pitch control in this turntable turn has started to go a little bit wonky. You'd uh, put a record on the platter, uh, hit the start button, and it would slow down, speed up, not keep time, spontaneously stop, um, do all kinds of weird stuff. Um, I went through the whole thing. I took it all apart. Uh, I took the bottom off of it. I'm going to uh, uh, show you what I did here in the second video uh, as to what I did for the repair. Um, I actually stole the idea kind of, sort of, from Scotty Kilmer, uh, who did a video on WD-40 uh, on his Mechanic Mondays on YouTube. Um, I'm actually going to put a link to his video down below uh, so everybody can uh, view it. Uh, I think Scotty's great. I uh, followed a lot of his uh, uh, car repair tips. If you haven't seen any of his videos, please check them out. He's really good. Um, but yeah, I stole one of his tricks when it comes down to uh, electrical components and WD-40. Now, I've been using um, dielectrical grease for years to repair things like this. Um, but I thought I'd give uh, Scotty's WD-40 idea a shot. Um, I wasn't aware that WD-40 actually changed their formula and it now has um, uh, kind of sort of dielectrical properties um, for repairing electrical components. So uh, I'm going to show you how I used it in this record player to fix it and also a couple other little things I did to it. Um, there was a little bit of soldering I didn't like and uh, some other stuff. So uh, I'll get back to you in part two and show you how I did it. 